Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play the Catacomb Abyss 3D! And when last we left off, Nemesis has been defeated! But there are still three more levels for us to face. For if we press F10 and W, we activate the Warp Cheat, which allows us to go to many secret levels, of which there are three. By selecting level 17, we go to Big Jim's Domain! And I have no idea what Big Jim's Domain is like, except the fact that there is a corridor here, and for some reason there is an orc. I think orcs may be one of our enemies, and that is the uh, dot for a wizard. That is not a secret uh, wall, neither is that, but I imagine this is. And there is another orc. I have absolutely no idea what to expect here, because I have never been to uh, any of these secret levels at all, so uh, just gonna have to be very, very careful. For you never know what might lie around the next corner. Like, for instance, all of these wizards guarding a portal, which is uh, kind of dangerous in itself. There we go, just need to uh, be very careful around that. And there is another orc. You can shoot through the portals, which is uh, rather handy. And there is a massive hidden um, secret wall that is revealing a massive area full of enemies. And that is really, really dangerous. It is indeed a very, very large domain that we have stumbled on here, full of wizards and eye monsters and orcs. It would seem these are the only enemies of this level, but trust me, those eye monsters are nasty enough as it is. There's nothing else in here though right now except this- Ah! There is a single wizard being very, very sneaky. Or there was. Let's grab some more power-ups, shall we? Nothing there, nothing there, nothing there. Something there, including one of these eye monsters that I have no idea of the names of, and a wizard. And a key. Ah, there's another enemy, though. We need to explore around pretty carefully. Also, there's an enemy behind that we somehow managed to miss. Either that, or he snuck up around us very sneakily. That could have happened. And if you give me one moment, I'll be right back. We have returned, and now let us continue with exploring around this- Ooh, I did not know that that was going to blow up, which is uh, a very nice thing to know indeed. What about these? That and- Ooh, that statue also blew up. Also very handy. And so now we have discovered another way to explore around this level. And there's another one that blew up, and there's an enemy behind it, which we've managed to uh, dispatch quite handily. And we need to avoid uh, stepping into that portal, because I don't want to explore any of them just yet. And there's an enemy around here. There appears to be just lots of areas that link up to one another, and those areas just sort of um, allow you to get access to all of the portals, which uh, I suppose isn't so bad if you- Ah, hello! Fortunately, you got in the way of uh, the uh, attack that was about to uh, destroy the chest there. I was about to say the fireball, but the fireball is indeed the attack. There are two- ah, hello! There are lots of orcs and lots of those eye things here. And there are two statues that are right next to each other. And they do blow up. And there is, in fact, a gold key here. That is interesting. We'll grab that. Excellent. I wonder what the gold key unlocks, apart from a door. But first, we need to find all the areas with all of the enemies. Like here, for instance. Anything in here, apart from just more wizards? It would seem not. And in here, that just links up to there, and we've accidentally walked into a portal, and then backed straight back up into a portal. It's nice to know that the portals do do that. Alright, there's this wall here that we haven't blown up, which just links up to two more walls that we haven't yet blown up, which have more wizards in them. I get the feeling a lot of these walls just have wizards in them. And these eye things. Really don't like these eye things. And I've really no idea what they're called, either. None of these blow up, either, so that one just doesn't seem to link up to anything. Uh, oh, wait, there's that one. There we go, there's a small amount of orcs in here. Anything else? Would seem not. There's this small area here that uh, doesn't appear to have- Ooh, there's this room, though. And there's this uh, wall there. There's just lots and lots of portals here that we just need to be very, very careful about. Have I dealt with all of them? I think I might have. So let's be very careful in navigating around and uh, find our way over here. And we can't blow that up at all. 
and this all just sort of links up to areas we've already been to. Which admittedly is not bad, but this whole place just seems to be one big massive cluster of portals, so we might as well actually start exploring them. And here is a portal with a door. Here is a portal with uh, some orcs as well. Anything else around here? Well, there's another door. You use a yellow key. And in here is, uh, what is in here? Well, there's that, which we for some reason are managing to hit by, uh, not even aiming. What is in here? Anything at all? Well, there's a portal. And there are some things, ooh, this, uh, blows up. And reveals just where a single orc is. Anything else? Oh, there are more orcs, and I have no idea why those orcs decided, uh, not to attack us when they had the chance. It seems like you, uh, missed an opportunity there. Ah, well. And that, uh, that just sort of loops around, which isn't so bad. And there's nothing else in here? I get the feeling that there would be something else, but it just appears to be an area with some orcs. Oh well, we'll try using the uh, other door now. Where was that other? There is a portal here. I might save and find out what's in that portal, because uh, that portal might lead to certain doom. What's in here? Anything? Oh, it just sort of loops back on an area we've already been. Or maybe not. Maybe we haven't properly explored this area yet, as is uh, evidenced by the enemies that have just appeared. Or maybe we haven't actually explored this area at all. There are just so many areas here with... Actually, we have explored that area. We just really haven't explored this level that well, have we? No, wait, we have, because there's this area which we have explored. Let's go back into that portal, shall we? Any of these blow up? No. I think we'll just go back the way we came and try that other door. Alright, where was the way that we came? I think it was over here. Very carefully in this direction. Anything here? No. This looks like the way out of the level, though. There we go! We have arrived at Nolan's Nasty. We're not sure why it is nasty, only that it is. And there are three... Yeah, I'd imagine there were three. If there was going to be two, there'd definitely be three. Also, there is a mage, there is a mage, there is a skeleton, and there is a skeleton. If I were guessing, this area has mages, this area has skeletons, and this area has both. That would be quite clever design. Let's see if that's right. Also, by holding the uh, direction key, we immediately teleported. And indeed, I was right. Here are mages. Which is a, a good thing to know. Mages are not the most terrifying of foes, especially when there aren't those weird eye things either. There we go. You have been dealt with. Excellent. Any more? Ooh, there's some uh, stuff there that I didn't blow up. I'm doing quite well at blowing these up these days. Also, that is not a way forward. And that is a way forward. Something to remember. Sometimes they are, sometimes they aren't. And there's just lots of loot here. Also, time to use one of these curing potions, because if we grab another one, it's just basically wasted. And it is worth just blasting at all these walls, just in case one of them will open up a way forward. Like this one here, which has more mages. I wonder if there's going to be keys in these areas. Well, there's walls that aren't exactly, um easy to notice as being secret, but uh, that's to be expected. And there's this area here too. And there's an area behind it as well. Hmm, let's see what's in this area behind it. And there's this area too. And that area. What's down here? Anything? Let's have a look. There's something, because this is one- Ah! There is a key. And indeed it is a red key. A red key for red enemies. Anything else around here? There's a lot of uh, things we can blow up. There's just some loot, and we might as well use one of these. There we go. Is there anything else in here at all that I actually want to go and explore? That is a good question, and we've already sort of gone that way, so what's this way instead? Well, there are enemies that are trying to blow us up with fireballs, but you're really going to have to use a little bit more of that to uh, kill us. Anything over here? 
Just loot. And I think we might have found everything in this area, so we're just going to uh, continue on and explore this way. Back the way we came, and head over to that portal, and uh, test the theory about the other one being full of skeletons. And if it's full of skeletons, I imagine we might need to find a yellow key. There we go! Excellent. And I think that is uh, the one that we want to uh, look at. Also, what has happened to those? I have not a clue, but something bad has happened to uh, the graphics of that. Something has gone wrong. Let's go through here before it continues to get wrong, as it seems that Gemesis has plans for us. Yes indeed, he plans to corrupt the entire world! Nemesis's twin brother. For Gemesis is not quite as good as Nemesis, but he certainly is trying his best now that Nemesis is dead. Also, I imagine some of these are secret walls that can blow up. And I've no idea why the graphics have uh, done that. It is interesting that they have done that, though. Also, there are a lot of skeletons here. A lot of skeletons. And we're going to need to destroy all of them and find our way towards locating a singular key. I'd imagine a yellow key. But at this point, it might be a corrupted graphical mess. But either way, we shall find it. This is not the location of a key. This is the location of a treasure chest. Which admittedly is not the worst thing, but it's also not really what we were looking for. Hello there! We're just going to blow this up, because I imagine that is indeed a secret wall. There we go! Maybe these were levels that were originally worked on, but uh, didn't end up being used in the final game? Who can say? All we know is that they are secret levels, and they were sort of put in there. Also, I really get the feeling that, yep, one of these walls would be something that you could blast open. Because so far we haven't found anything that makes coming to this area worthwhile whatsoever. Anything here? Well, there's this wall that just explodes. Very handy. Also, we might as well use one of these uh, zappers here. Because why not? Anything in here? I'd imagine there is. There is something. There's lots of loot in here. Lots of loot. And most of it we can't really do anything with unless it has exterminators in it. Unfortunately, we still haven't found a key. And I get the feeling we need to find a key. However, we've not been so fortunate so far. Just gonna have one uh, quick cursory look in here. Nope, nope, no keys whatsoever. So we're just going to uh, continue onwards. There is this area over here that uh, we haven't uh, looked at in great detail. If we just uh, blow up some of these walls here. Ah, there's one there that explodes! Will this one have a key in it? I hope so. It sort of has the hallmarks of maybe having a key in it, because it's sort of similar in design to where we found the other place with the key. Is there a key? Well, there's lots of skeletons, but is there a key? The answer is... Yes! Excellent! Let us now go away from this area where all the graphics are starting to corrupt and just try and find our way to the next location. I do think that- ooh, there's something here I missed! And none of those explode. So we're just going to uh, head this way now and uh, sort of get out of here before things deteriorate further in the world that Everhale is going to. There is uh, this one here that we have not yet been to. And this one, I imagine, is going to have some things in it. Like a door that we need to open. Using a red key. And there are lots of mages here. I imagine, however, we're going to find more than just mages. Indeed, there are skeletons as well! Bolstering the ranks of the dead with their own dead. Indeed. I wonder if they're using the uh, skeletons to do it. As in, uh, the skeletons are killing other people, or to then raise them as more of the, um, more dead, so that they can then have, you know, more skeletons. Also, there's this way here. And I have no idea what I, where I was going with the uh, skeletons and the undead. Is there any way forward here? Ah, there's this area here that we want to go through. Basically, I have the mages raising skeletons, so that then they can go kill people and then raise more skeletons. It's a pretty uh, decent way of getting troops if you don't mind them being skeletons. And probably not. Ah, yellow key has been used. And this, I think, leads to the exit. 
pass this way? And exiting the level just killed the game. Quite literally, it just closed. So, I don't think we're going to be able to find a, uh, an exit that leads beyond there. But however, there are a few more things you might want to look at. Like level 5. Level 5 is not the level you'd think, it is Mike's Blastable Passage, which is the third secret level. And this secret level is full of peril and lots of blastable passages. All it would seem of these enemies. Fortunately, we have more than enough uh, potions to deal with all of this, which is quite handy. I think what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to uh, find a key and get out of here using that. But to do that, we're going to have to find somewhere through these large amounts of passages. Also, the sheer amount of damage that those enemies can just uh, blast out is ridiculous. Fortunately, these passages don't seem to be too dangerous, especially if you have lots and lots and lots of firepower like I do. Imagine going into this level without any firepower. That would be an extremely dangerous thing to do. Also, with a name like Mike's Blastable Passages, it sort of implies that there are going to be lots of passages that we're going to be blasting through. But for now, let's just uh, see what we can do. We do know that there are areas where you won't um, need to um, use a key to get out. We did have one in the sewers. So hopefully this is going to be one of those uh, levels. I highly doubt it though, considering that this is a secret level, that's probably not going to be the case. Alright, let's move on here and defeat this enemy by blasting him with magic. There we go. There's a mixture of enemies here though. There's not just uh, there's not just a few. There are so far three types of enemies that we've seen. I imagine there are going to be skeletons. They like throwing skeletons into the mix as well, but they might not be skeletons. Also, there are lots of blastable walls. And with the level being called as it is, I'm not at all surprised. Ah, there indeed are skeletons! Meaning that we've encountered four enemy types so far in this level alone. And there are some more skeletons around the corner. Just follow where the enemies are, and you will find your way through. Sort of. Anything in here? No. What about round here? There are a few walls we can blow up here, which is handy, because that will just reveal this area, which is very nice indeed. And here are more of you. Nobody likes fighting you, Mr. I-Thing, so we're just going to zap everything that we can and use these exterminators, which will certainly help. There's a lot of things here, and one enemy for some reason that we can't seem to gain access to. In there. There's an enemy in there that we just can't get to. But that's alright. Maybe we don't need to get to that enemy. I think we need to get to that enemy. Anything in here? Well, there's more blastable walls, certainly. Anything else? Was a blastable wall there? Which leads to uh, that there. And there's more blastable walls here that lead to lots and lots and lots of enemies. Which is really, really good. Where did you go? Maybe you went nowhere. Maybe you perished. Ah! We need a red key. Let's go find a red key, shall we? I don't know if that's the exit, but hopefully we'll find our way through regardless. Maybe there's a way around here. There is a way around here! Which is very, very handy. Let's use some more of these zappers, shall we? We do have a few of them, after all. And there's another one of these foes. Hello! Excellent! We have bested you, and we shall best you again! using our magic missiles. Anything else in here? Anything at all? Blastable walls? I'm sort of anticipating blastable walls. Ah, there's some blastable walls. I was not disappointed. There we go. Anything in here? More blastable walls? More blastable walls! Excellent. And now we shall destroy you all with zappers. This looks like a sort of end level area because there's a lot of things here that uh, take a lot of damage. And more of you. Anything else in here apart from you? Is there a wall that will explode? 
answer for some reason is no. Ah, there's an area here, though, with skeletons that we could go and explore. And that's a good thing to do. Maybe that got a reveal with the exterminator. Anything in here at all? More skeletons! Anything else, then, more skeletons? A key, maybe? We do need a key. Just use some exterminators there. This looks like a sort of very centralish area. That said, though, I've no idea because there's no ma Aha! A key! That is exactly what we want, and now we must backtrack to get to that door. Oh, hello, Mr. Skeleton. How are you? Are you that skeleton that we were- Oh, there's more enemies around here. Might as well go and fight you. Why not, eh? Anything in here? Apart from more enemies? And even more enemies? I think I might have killed that one. Anyone else? No! Nothing else here. Finally, the blastable walls end. And now we're going to get out of here. If, that is, we can find the way out. And that involves us not getting lost, which is, an er which is uh, a little difficult in an area like this. Uh, so we're going to be very, very careful. That skeleton is over there, and we need to find a uh, the route that we took to get... Um, was it this way? Was it this way to get to the door? We need to find where the... Ah, there's the door! Excellent! Pass this way? Yes! Use a red key! And we're now back in Big Jim's domain. I think we've gone through these in the wrong order. But that's alright, because there's one more area we need to explore. And it is, uh... Hello! We'll just uh, kill you there very quickly. If we uh, do this, there's actually a level 19. You have arrived at blank. This is not so much an area as it is just a location where lots of things are. It's just here. All there is is all these doors and all these different bits of wall, which is uh, interesting. I wonder if they use this to test what these look like. And you can see every different kind of wall that's in the game. I'm not sure I ever saw that wall. I'm not sure we did. Also, there is a cross by this one. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. But I don't know what will happen if we go into any one of these doors, so let's just try it, shall we? Let's try going into this one. Ah, we're back at the very beginning of the game. Perhaps all of them take you there. And we have all of these power-ups and all of the gems. So it's safe to say, but if you decided to do this, uh, you'd be pretty powerful. Very powerful indeed. And I think we've pretty much showed off everything that we need to show off here. I did do the secret levels in the wrong order, but that is all of the secret levels, and that weird level there where it just sort of shows off the designs of walls. And so, when we come back, folks, we'll be going to somewhere else entirely. Because... There is another game in the Catacomb series, and one after that, and I think it's best that we just go straight into them. So I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later.